Hey everyone, it's Paul Pyro, and today I'm going to show you how to encrypt your Windows 10 PC with TrueCrypt, so stay tuned. Now before we get started, let me go over TrueCrypt in a bit of its history. TrueCrypt is an open source piece of software. It has been 100% free for the past few years. It is compatible with Mac, Linux, and Windows PCs, however today we will be using Windows 10. Now just recently, a lot of claims were made after the TrueCrypt website was shut down. Now the reason why it was shut down is unknown, but a lot of the claims were saying that TrueCrypt was not secure. However, a few months ago, TrueCrypt was analyzed by hundreds of security researchers along with thousands of open source developers. Now during the entire process, there were no known backdoors to be found, also no other security bugs that would lead a lot of concern. Now with that being said, it is still evident that TrueCrypt is still a secure piece of software. I've used it many times before and many of my friends do as well. TrueCrypt is a very powerful program to keep your data and information secure and safe from criminals. Now the reason why I'm showing you how to do it for the Windows 10 is because TrueCrypt was not intentionally made for Windows 10. It was made for up to Windows 8 and that's when it stopped. So the Windows 10 was something new and I wasn't sure if it would work. However, after a bit of testing, it shows that TrueCrypt will run flawlessly on Windows 10. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get started. So here I have my Windows 10 laptop and before running TrueCrypt it requires a DVD or CD drive in order to burn a recovery image in case your computer fails to boot up during the TrueCrypt bootloader. In other words, TrueCrypt won't let you encrypt anything without the CD slash DVD being made first. It's so that your computer will still boot up in case there are any errors along the way. Now since my laptop does not have any sort of DVD or CD drive, I'll be using a free software called PowerISO to create a fake DVD drive and mount the image to that instead. This step is only necessary if you do not wish to burn a recovery disk or do not have any disk laying around. So to start off, I installed PowerISO, which you can find a link in the description below to download yourself. It's 100% free, so don't pay a cent. After installing, open the software, and then click Continue and Register. Next go to Tools, then scroll down to Virtual Drive. Now you can set the number of drives to 1, since all we'll need is one virtual drive. Next, it'll prompt you to restart your computer, but since I already did this, I won't need to do this step. Now you can close PowerISO and install TrueCrypt. The link to download TrueCrypt is in the description below. Next, I'll right-click TrueCrypt and run as administrator. Once it opens, go down to Create Volume. Next, you're going to want to click on Encrypt the System Partition or Entire System Drive, then click Next. Now you're going to select Normal Mode, And you're going to click to encrypt the entire drive. We don't want anyone to see what we're running. Just click yes. Now select single boot. And now you can configure the algorithm which you want it to encrypt. I'm choosing AES Two Fish Serpent because it has a nice mix of actual cascading ciphers. In other words, it'll make it a little bit trickier to break through. Now here's the most important part. Your password is what makes or breaks your encryption. So the longer your password, the better. Now for my sake, I'm using a massive password I created. I recommend you use a password that's at least 15 digits long. Any shorter and you might as well not even have your entire drive encrypted. When you finish with your password, select next. Now here's the fun part. Randomly move your mouse inside the box to generate an encryption key. The more random you move it, the better your key will be and harder to crack. Now as you can see, this is the master key I created. I'm just going to hide it to block you guys from seeing it, but we'll continue to the next step. This last big part is the whole reason we needed Power ISO, so we can create the rescue disk I was telling you guys about. So near the bottom you can select where you'd like to save the image file, then we will mount it to the imaginary drive we created. Now if you ended up not using Power ISO and just burned a disk, this would be the time that you burn the image. Now what we are going to do is navigate to the imaginary drive we created with PowerISO and then mount the image file. So here's the image file on the desktop. Next you're going to want to go to your computer and then go through your actual drives and see if you can find it. It took me a little sec but here's my imaginary CD drive. You can tell because the CD is yellow such as the PowerISO symbol. Right click, open up PowerISO and you can actually mount your image. Now I'm going to browse through and actually select the image I want to mount. 
I'm going to show all files and there it is. Select it and then click open. Voila, now you have the imaginary TrueCrypt file. So what happens is the TrueCrypt software sees and basically looks like, oh, this guy just put in a CD with the TrueCrypt file burned onto it. But in reality, we didn't waste any CDs, we just created an imaginary drive. Now you can select next. There you go, rescue disk verified. So now we can continue to the actual encryption method. Now if you want to keep your data, select none. We don't want to wipe anything and we already have files on this in system anyways. Now it's actually going to go through with a pretest to actually see if everything's working. Click OK, and now you're going to restart your computer. Now this pretest can last anywhere from 30 seconds to 15 minutes, so please be patient and wait for it to reboot. Next you'll be prompt to enter your TrueCrypt password, so go ahead and do so. Oops, I messed up. Now you can sign into your computer, and then continue on and just wait. Now as it loads up the desktop, TrueCrypt will automatically prompt and actually show you if it was successful or not. So this just takes a little bit of patience, but just wait and TrueCrypt will pop up. Finally, you can select Encrypt, and then just click OK. It'll verify, click Yes. And then now you're just going to have to wait a sec, because my computer is pretty slow, but it should load on and start the encryption process. Finally, the longest step, the encryption. Now this can take anywhere from 30 minutes up to a day. It depends on the computer you are running and the size of your hard drive. Now this computer here is about 8 years old and is extremely slow. It has about 1GB of RAM and I was encrypting 160GB. Now the actual whole process took about 7 hours to complete. So that should give you a rough estimate of how long it should take you to encrypt yours. Also, when the encryption finishes, it'll just ask you to reboot, then you re-enter your password, and then you're all set. You can continue to do as normal. Heck, you don't even have to open TrueCrypt. It'll be running in the background and keep all your data secure. However, just remember, it is only secure when your computer's powered off, or if someone can't get through the login screen. If you're logged in already, they have access to all your files, and it can't protect against that. Thank you for watching. Now, if you like this video, click right here to subscribe. Now, by subscribing to my channel, I'll keep you up to date on all my latest videos and projects in the future. I'll give you some more tech tutorials, such as this one, and some more little tips and tricks for security at home. Also, before you go, feel free to comment and rate this video. By commenting, you can let me know how you feel or future suggestions for future videos. Also, by rating, you can let me know if you like it or not. If you don't like it, dislike it. Heck, I love to see your honesty. Now before you go, feel free to check out my friend The Chemistry Shack for some amazing chemistry videos. Now it's maybe not related to tech, but if you really love chemistry and other science like that, feel free to check his channel out as well. He has some amazing videos and you can click right here to visit his channel. Alright, so thank you for watching and have an awesome day.